You can pick any color based on the hexadecimal color system and you need to know this when you're doing your hand coding. So the color codes uh, go by entering the pound symbol and then you'll see six digits. Now these digits are either a zero, a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, eight, nine, zero, A, B, C, D, E, F, and the first two digits refer to how much red is going to be mixed in the color. The second two is how much green and the final two is how much blue. So if you just wanted a blue color, here's what you would do. You would hit pound, zero red, and then the second two digits, zero green. And then for blue, F is as high as you can go. So FF, that would give you total blue. If you wanted to make total red, you would do FF because red is high as it can go, and then zero for green and zero for blue. If we want to complete green, we would hit zero zero for red, and then we would hit FF for green and zero zero for blue, and this color would be all green. Now you can use any of these digits, but it's suggested for easy viewing on browsers because the colors could be funky. Always use either a 00, a 33, a 66, a 99, a CC, or an FF. So let me just separate these. You don't want to include a space when you're doing it. But the first two digits, instead of 00, you could use 33, 66, 99, CC, FF. For the second two, you can use any of these combinations. And for the third two, you can use any of these combinations. You can use any of the numbers you like, but I just suggest that you use stick to these numbers because they're numbers that display nicely on the different browsers. Now there's a color, sh color chart that you can go to in the recommended links section and you can see all the different colors. So if you go here you can see the color you like then you can just you know use that CC0066. So let's say I wanted to use this golden color here. It would be FFFF00. So let's go to our hand coded page and here I said red, but let's use that, that color. And what was that color again? It was FFFF00. So we go back to our page, and we always got to remember the pound symbol. Now, FFFF00. Now I will hit save. And then we go back to our website and double click on hand code. And We'll see that that became a yellow color, which is hard to see here. So let's pick another color. And let's pick this one because, oh, how about this one? CC0000. So let's go back to our hand code and we want to change it to CC0000. And I want to save that. And if I go back to my page and I hit refresh, I will see it's now that color. So you can go to the color chart inside the hand code, inside the recommended links section of this website, and you can just look at these different colors when you're designing a web page. And feel free to go there often and you know pick these colors out. You can also design them on the fly if you know that these are red. This is the amount of green, this is the amount of blue, and you could just kind of play with it on your own without even looking it up. So using the hexadecimal color code, you can come up with any color. Uh, all colors can be made by using this, and if you just stick to the 0, 0, 3, 6, 9, C, and F, you'll be able to make most colors anyway from that. There's a lot of combinations there. So that is how to add color, uh, any color you choose. Just remember that it's always the pound sign and then six digits. And then here are all your choices for the digits. Um, red, red, green, green, blue, blue. And for easily viewable colors, 00, 33, 66, 99, CC, FF. You gotta be careful too because the colors that you can see when you look at your screen might be slightly different than what other people see on different screens with different resolutions and different browsers. So that's why you stick with the 0033669999CC and FF. 
because there's a greater chance that it'll be close to what you're seeing on your computer. If you start using like sevens and fives and stuff, it might be slightly different than what you're seeing on their computer. So that's just a tip that I've learned from uh, graphic design experts and HTML experts and I'm passing it along to you.